Hey guys, how you doing? This is Saint Woven and today we are going to see how to play PlayStation 3 games on your PC. I have an update available. I'm too lazy because like I updated it like two days ago. That's I'm not gonna update it again. So the first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is go to rpcs3.net slash download. I'm gonna put that link in the description. You can download for Linux or you can download for Windows. The download is really simple, man. I mean, it's just a simple setup. You're, there's literally very few ways you can possibly get lost there, okay? It's very simple, just go with the recommended things. Continue, 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 finish, okay? It's not, it's not a big deal. And after you finish it all, you're gonna see something called RPCS3 and it's gonna look like this. This is the window you're gonna see. As you can see here, I already have a game installed. I will leave a very short gameplay segment right now. So now that you see the gameplay, I'm going to show you how to install the games on RPCS3. So all you need to do is find a PS3 game through a torrent or through a browser that I'm not going to make the tutorial now, but it's a really good option and it's virus free. It's a browser called NPS Browser. It's really nice and you're going to find it on nopaystation.com. I'll make that video later because it's a little bit of an annoying setup, but that's that's basically it. What you're usually going to find when you look for PlayStation 3 games is either an ISO file or a package file. In this case, this package file also comes with a .rep file. Installing it is extremely simple. Alright, so all you would have to do is go to file, go to install packages slash wraps, then you go to the install of the PKG file that you want to well, install. You press it, press open, and it starts installing. What do you with, do with the wrap files? Same thing. File, install packages, wrap file. And that's it. The other option you have is to simply drag it there. So if you do this, it'll work equally as well. Now, if you have an ISO file or ISO file, you just go to open here, where it kind of looks like a camera, but if you look at it differently, it's a folder with a CD in it. Go to open and you choose your ISO file and you'll be good to go too. I have a PlayStation 4 controller and I want to use it because I don't have my PS3 controller because I sold my PS3 a long time ago or because I like how the PlayStation 4 controller feels a lot better. This is really simple. All you have to do is go to pads. Another way to get to this is just going to configuration and then going to pads. Just, just press pads. And here, by default, you're gonna see it maybe on keyboard. All you'd have to do is put it on DualShock 4. I'm messing with my PlayStation controller right now, and uh, here it says how much battery I have, which is very useful, except that I don't have a Bluetooth adapter, so well, it's useless for me. And when you go to LED settings, you can set the color. Right now, my color is purple. Let's say, whoa, that's disgusting. Let's, let's, let's choose red, let's go simple, let's choose red. Okay, you press apply, and it's gonna turn red. See, not that hard. And it's customizable and it looks cool, so that is basically it. That's all you need, you just apply that, press okay, you save, and then that's gonna work with all of your games. Hey guys, that was it for this video. I hope it helped you out. It's really simple. Don't be afraid by the different file names. It's just ISO and package files, and package files you can just literally just drag and drop and it's not too complicated to just open and look for your ISO file, okay? It's fortunately a very, very well done emulator. <laughs> All right, my dude, so thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single weekend about tech or gaming, and I hope you have a good one. Bye bye <laughs>